In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My soul gives thanks to the Lord. Life is indeed a celebration of love and blessing. Today, the 20th of April, is a joyous and momentous day for Sister Natalina as she celebrates the 25th anniversary of her religious life. It is a day to celebrate her yes to God, her leaving home to answer the highest call of love in God her faithfulness and dedication in the congregation of Jesus and Mary, her sacrifices for the sake of the service to humanity. Today, 25 years have passed, and we are here to thank and praise God for these years of graces and blessings, joys and sorrows, successes and failures, ups and downs, and years of being engraved in the palm of his hand. This was possible because of her abiding faith and trust in the promises of God, which enabled and strengthened her to live in her commitment for 25 glorious years. We thank you, Sister Natalina, for rendering your generous services to various communities and apostolic works. Truly, you can say that God has done marvels for you. We pray for you in a special way, dear Sister Natalina, that our gracious Lord and his dear mother continue to shower his blessings of great health, peace and joy upon you and keep you always under the shadow of his loving hand. We pray for your parents, family, relations, friends and well-wishers and all those who have been an authentic part of your life and empowered you to grow in your vocation as a religious of Jesus and Mary. To celebrate this Mass in a worthy manner, let's call to mind all of our shortcomings. I confess to the Almighty God, God and to you, God, my and brothers, and brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault. To my fault, fault, to my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy, we have sinned. Glory be to the Son, glory. 
where we offer this Mass for all the intentions of Sister Natalia. She celebrates her 25th anniversary of her religious life. God, our merciful Father, on this solemn feast you give us the joy of recalling the rising of Christ to renew life. May the joy of our annual celebration bring us to the joy of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I always give thanks to my God for you because of the grace he has given you to Christ Jesus. For in union with Christ, you have become rich in all things, including all speech and all knowledge. The message about Christ has become so firmly established in you that you have not failed to receive a single blessing as you wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will always keep you firm to the end so that you will be faultless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is to be trusted, the God who called you to have fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. A word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ever on my lips, the praises of the Lord. Ever in my mouth, God's music. Through the dark of night, in morning's golden light, God's praises I will sing. Taste and see heaven bounty.
the hope to which we are called. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath he went, as usual, to the synagogue. He stu stood up to read the scriptures and was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has chosen me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recover of sight to the blind, to set free the oppressed, and announce that the time has come when the Lord will save his people. Jesus rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. All the people in the synagogue had their eyes fixed on him. As he said to them, This passage of scripture has come true today as you heard it being read. Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, good evening to you all. Good evening, Father. To Sister Natalia and also to Sister Flavia, it's really a great time for you. And we are really gifted to celebrate your Silver Jubilee in London. <laughs> and it has been a, a, almost a year since you have prepared yourself to come to London. And it is really God's gift that along with your friends and Father Jackson to celebrate this you know, wonderful occasion here. Thank you so much for you know, dedicating yourself to this ministry. Before we start, I was wondering why we had chosen Luke chapter 4 and verses from 16 to 21. When I was uh, you know, reading through it, I really surprised. That is the beginning of Jesus' ministry. He's going to Nazareth and he's opening the scroll and he proclaims, that is a mission manifesto, they say. What Jesus wants to do it in his life, complete life as a mission, he is telling it through the you know, prophecy of uh, Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me and then he is giving some of the things, uh, you know, uh, captive to be released and the poor to be attended and uh, marginalized to be addressed and uh, also the favor and the jubilee year of the Lord to be announced. All these things he is telling, that is the purpose of my ministry. That is the beginning of Jesus' ministry, but today, Sister Natalia, after 25 years, she comes back to renew her, all her vows to energize herself. Uh, there is a story of eagle, not a story that happens in the life of eagle. What happens in eagle's life is, after certain years, 30 years or 40 years, all their teeth uh, gets bended, and all their falcon, uh, and their uh, nails and all become so uh, not sharp enough, and they uh, they cannot catch their prey so well, and their feathers become thickened after a certain period of time, during which the uh, uh, eagle has to decide one thing. Either to travel to the long mountain and uh, you know stay there and pluck out all her feathers and breaking its beak into the rock, a rock and then wait in that winter to get new feather 
new you know new uh, peak uh, to uh, renew itself if it says no it is going to pain me and so i don't want to enter into that uh, time to sacrifice the uh, uh, the eagle uh, you know will not get any prey to catch and to feel its uh, uh, prey and it is going to definitely die but when if it retreats from the everyday mundane life and if it renews itself and it gets a life of a uh, next uh, 30 to 40 years that is what sister is doing it here to renew herself completely to be with the lord as uh, to get the spirit of the lord to go out to proclaim his gospel and to do the ministry that jesus has called her for and especially i hope traveled with this uh, you know jesus and mary uh, religious sisters for a longer time from the time of my seminary life uh, claudine is the foundress and i really uh, you know feel so delighted that we have uh, religious sisters in the name of Jesus and Mary. Their commitment to the education, as their foundresses started this congregation uh, to do uh, education to the people, simple people, and even the marginalized, to address them and empower them. Dear uh, brothers and sisters, this congregation is there for the education and to uplift the people who are very poor they stand uh, with the manifesto of jesus they are really imbibe the spirit of jesus and they apply it in the society they had been in india they did a wonderful job now they have been uh, called to england to serve I remember uh, one legendary story set up St. Thomas, an apostle. Once Jesus resurrected and when he ascended into heaven and the disciples were commissioned to go to the whole world to preach the gospel. So they were putting a lot whom to go where. And Thomas got India. When he got that lot and he was murmuring, Oh, India is too far. I'm old to go there. And also he said, Oh, Indian language is too difficult. I am very old to learn. And also he said, I'm too old. I don't want to go there. That night, the resurrected Lord in his dream, he said, Dear Thomas, you are the one who said, let us go with him and die with him. You are the one who said, you are the Lord, you are my God. I live in you. Wherever you go, it is not too hard. Well, how far it is, it is not too far. You are not too old when I am with you. Dear Sister Natalia, I believe, always carry our Jesus in herself. That is the reason why she has taken this challenging mission. Uh, too far, no matter for her. Uh, too difficult, no matter for her. Her age, no matter. In the spirit of the Lord, she is ready to serve the Lord with enthusiasm, with energy, with commitment. So dear sister, the entire community gathered here along with the sister Flavia, and Father Jackson, we really thank you and uh, your service. I have seen you forming the young people who had just uh, entering into the uh, congregation to you know, spread this uh, good work that you are doing. You are here to channelize the same energy to different, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, God's plan to carry out through your mission. Uh, continue to do the same good work you are doing. Our prayers are always with you. You also continue to pray for us and God always support us. Amen.
Now I invite Sister Natalia to renew her walk. Dear Sister Natalia, in the name of the Lord, I invite you to renew your vows that you have taken by trusting God and imbibing the spirit of your foundress as Claudian. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, I, your unworthy child and handmaid, filled with the desire of promoting your glory, my salvation and that of my neighbor, determined to live in future for you alone and to depend absolutely on the guidance of your grace in the presence of Jesus and Mary and of all the heavenly court, renew my vows of obedience, poverty, and chastity, according to the constitutions of the Congregation of Jesus and Mary. I promise with your help, O oh my God, to live as a good religious and to devote myself constantly to the ministries to which my superiors shall see fit to call me, according to the form and the proper law of our congregation. My God, support my weakness, that I may remain always faithful to my commitment. I invite the congregation to pray for Sister Natalia that she carry out the good works that she does, as well as trusting God and committing herself for all the people who are really in need. Our Father, who art in heaven, and will be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be, be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Loving Mother, we surrender before you, your child, Natalia, you be her companion, you be her role model, be her interceder. Hail Mary, Mary full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen.
session. Hamburg. We offer you Lord this hymn book, a symbol which represents Sister Nataline's talent of singing. We pray that she may continue to glorify your mighty name with songs and praise as she echoes your sweet melody of love. The J.M. Cross. This cross we offer you, O Lord, as a symbol of our life in Christ. We pray for each sister of our congregation that we may be prophetic witnesses of Christ to all those we come in contact with and draw fervent vocations through our authentic way of life. Bread and wine. Loving Father, we offer you this bread and wine as a symbol of our church, the community present here and the society at large. We pray that as you transform this bread and wine into your body and blood, transform each one of us to be like you. May we break ourselves freely in love and compassion. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, accept this sacrifice of our redemption and accomplish in the salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us 
us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever in this Easter season when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. He has made us children of the light, rising to new and everlasting life. He has opened the gates of heaven to receive his faithful people. His death is our ransom from death. His resurrection is our rising to life. The joy of the resurrection renews the whole world, while the choirs of heaven sing forever to your glory. gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, the death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent there, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which it will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with John, our bishop, Francis, our Pope, and all our clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. In baptism, make us worthy to share the eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be called to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory.
glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the service, command and phone by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always. always. Peace in our day, in your mercy, keep us free from all, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait the joyful hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. But for the kingdom of God and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my dwelling, but you only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ. Body and blood of Christ. Tears of joy well up in my eyes. My heart is full with joy it cries. Beyond words are my feelings today. Yes, feelings that words cannot say. Yes, 
feelings that words cannot say. I'm not so certain what lies ahead of me, but I know there's a hand that guides me gently. Tears of joy well up in my eyes. My heart is full with joy and cries. Be your words are my feelings today. Yes, feelings that words cannot say. When the forces come to threaten my call, Holy Spirit, will you help me lest I fall? joy well up in my eyes. My heart is full with joy it cries. Beyond words are my feelings today. Yes, feelings that words cannot say. Yes, feelings that words cannot say. Thanksgiving prayer. Give thanks to the Lord, proclaim his greatness, and make known to the nations what he has done. Heavenly Father, at the conclusion of this Eucharist, we thank you for having given us life and love, and sustaining us with your body and blood. We also thank you for the graces you have bestowed on our dear sister Natalina. I have loved you with an everlasting love. You are mine. Yes, Lord, I have seen this in my life. For you have created me and have called me to be your own. Thank you for your unconditional love. Do not fear, I am with you. Thank you, Lord, for always being my refuge, protector and consolation in each moment of my life. It is not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. I pray, Lord, that your knowledge will be deepened and your love be mutual and strong in my life to reach that perfect goodness so that I may continue to find myself in you alone. We beseech you to strengthen and guide Natalina in the arduous task of guiding young people on the right path, leading them to you alone. May she constantly experience your divine guidance and support in the ministry. Amen. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. Today my heart is filled with gratitude and joy that overflows within me as I recall the path. I thank the Almighty for accompanying me in marvelous ways all through these 25 years and keeping me safe, healthy and productive in his vineyard. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to you fathers, Father Jackson and Father James, and Father James for your inspiring homily. A special thanks to all of you who have joined me in, celebrate, in the celebration here and online. A special thanks to you who have, you have been my source and strength throughout my life, through your prayers. The seed of my vocation grew in my family. Thank you, my parents, my brothers and sister, sister who is present here, my brother-in-law, my family members, for your constant support and encouragement. I remember today my congregation and each sister who is praying for me and was always a great support for me in my life. 
remembering all my formators, also remembering the priest and friends who lead who led me to walk his way. Thank you. My thanks will be incomplete if I don't acknowledge my community sister, Sister Flavia, for making this day memorable one. Thank you. I ask our Lord Jesus and Mother Mary, St. Claudine, to bless all of us and may we continue to bring many souls to God by our life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may this sharing in the sacrament of your Son free us from our old life of sin and make us your new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the mercy sender. Alleluia. Once everything is over, we can yeah. share. Yeah, but the photos are Yeah, lighter Just get a lighter. Which was created. 
You and I'll go inside. You have to be inside. You also go in. Ah, no, I'm not going to go in. No. Congratulations. Oh, what? Oh, sorry. Where is the father? Father. There he is. Oh, there he is. Come, come closer. Yeah, go closer. Yeah, we will go. We will be here. We will be here. Come, come. We will go over there. Come, come. Yes. You want to come? No, no. Yeah. Can you shift the bike? Can you come in the bike? Come, 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 I'll go behind. Yeah, come, 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 I'll go behind. Yes, you also join us. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Hi, you go. No, no, I'm taking it. Just one day. You also need to be oh. there, no? History matters. Oh my God. So sweet. Get in, get in. But you not come. And here come. You think I'm going to be sad? No. Father will do it on behalf of me. Ah, you have a big piece, Lava. Yeah, father, big piece, yeah. Always she's feeding on so much what I'm telling you. The more you give, you will get. She has to be given more than you. Come on, father. Yeah, father. James, come. Yeah. Both, not both James, only one James. Yeah. Father, big piece, yeah. Father, you can have a piece. 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 Father, you can have a piece.
Big smile, yeah, big smile. Well, on your birthday or anything, you invite us. We will show you. Yeah, yeah. Real big. Very yeah, nice. <laughs> Who's left? Who's the mini? Yeah, no, no. Thank you so much. I'm taking a photo of someone. No, I see actually the link. I have seen this.